Steel Timber Sports brought to you by Steel. For a better way to buy garden power tools, visit your local steel specialist. Find yours online, better still. And 11 Workwear, designed to give you more. More comfort, more style, more function, and more value. Official clothing partner of the Chopperoos and the Steel Timber Sports Australian Series. And Steel Timber Sports, a proud major partner of the Movember Foundation, Stop Men Dying Young. Australia's best steel timber sports athletes have descended on Queensland's Gold Coast for a two-day timber sports fiesta. The athletes will need to compete across six separate disciplines. These include the springboard, the stock saw, the standing block, the single buck, the underhand chop, and finally, the pinnacle event, the hot saw. In this competition, athletes have been ranked and split into two pools of eight. The top four in each pool will qualify for the final and vie for the Australian title, but it won't be easy. The Australian still timber sports competition is really tough competition, you know, we've got some great choppers, probably the best five competitors in the world here in all the chopping events, so it's very, very tight at the top. The athlete who wins the Australian Championship will go on to compete against the best steel timber sports athletes in the world for the coveted individual World Championship. While five of our finalists will be selected for the Chopperoos team, who will be looking to win their fifth team World Championship in Liverpool, England. Over the past few years, the man to beat has been Brad DeLosa from Lithgow, New South Wales. His dominance gave him the title in 2016 after a battle with Braden Meyer. This is a super fast time. The Losa is champion. Again in 2017, Brad took the title with Braden in close second. Yeah, I think for sure after winning the last two years, you know, I think um, all the boys would be, you know, quite happy to beat me and put themselves in a position to go to the World Championships. In 2018, everyone is after that title. Yeah, being third the last few years is uh, pretty tough to take sometimes, but you know, you got to pick up your game and move on. I made the final, I'm going to win. I'm sick of getting beaten. It sucks. Starting off the event, those contending for the top four spots in Pool A are 2018 World Rookie Champion Tasmanian Dan Gurr, the eldest man in the field at 52, Matt Gurr, the tenacious Queenslander, Jamie Head. The Victorian looking to crack the top eight, Jared Williams. The powerhouse from Grafton, Chris Owen. Cousin to Braden, Victorian, Blake Meyer. The wildly powerhouse, Victorian, Glenn Gillen. And former world champion from Lithgow, New South Wales, Brad DeLosa, who will start his campaign with the first event, the Springboard. The Springboard imitates an old lumberjack technique to overcome hard root wood. The athletes cut two pockets in a vertical log 2.7 metres high. With the help of the springboard, they climb to the top and cut through a 27 centimetre diameter log from both sides. Our first springboard heat is one that will really set the tone for the day in the ultimate family rivalry. Yeah, obviously, Dad top class competitor as he's shown over the last few years but I think going on how I've been going against him training I'm capable of beating him and, and taking that top eight spot. It's a daunting prospect going out on stage you know against Daniel and um, it's obvious as a parent you consider what's going on with him and at the end of the day I've got to concentrate on what I'm doing and focus on that and do my best so it's going to be every man for himself. With no love lost in competition, let's see who gets bragging rights in this first heat of the springboard. Three, two, one, go! 
This will surely be a quick race up the tree and Denger claims a two-hit pocket to get the edge over his dad. Wow, I haven't seen that before in competition. He must have been saving that technique for this battle. Matt Gurr is close behind and will be counting on that experience to make up valuable ground in these early stages. Up on the second board and both father and son are really up the tree quick and attacking that top log. Matt Gurr is one of the best when it comes to the springboard and it looks like his son Dan is following in his footsteps. They have solid boards to stand on and are really giving it their all. They will be looking to top the leaderboard here and gain those valuable eight points for the first place leading into the next event to stop Saw. Dan is now turned to the other side. He looks to be ahead of his dad and be looking for a sub 50 second time. And there it goes. Dan Gurr with a lightning fast 47 seconds who really brought it home ahead of his dad, Matt, with 55 seconds. Jeez, what a race to set the pace in this first heat. But I expected to do well in the springboard, and coming up against Dad, he's, he's been there a lot of times before, and he's been known to be really good at the springboard, but I think the next generation's here. Leading into the next heat, Jamie Head knows exactly what he needs to do to get through to the top four today. On the qualification day, it's a bit of a catch-22 as to how hard you need to go. Like, if you go all or nothing, then you could quite easily not make the final. So I think my strategy going in will be just to try and get them consistent cuts. Maybe not the fastest ones, but try and get near the top of the points every time, and that'll get me into the Sunday. He will be taking on two-time Australian and 2013 world champion Brad DeLosa. Let's see if his strategy plays out. Three, two, one. DeLosa will be looking for a nice, sturdy four-hit first pocket if he's to get close to Daniel Gurr's time. He has a battle on his hands, though, as the experienced Jamie Head will do anything to stay ahead as he jumps up on his first board. They are both still together as accuracy and skill are put into that second pocket. This board will need to go the distance as it will be the one holding them up for their final assault on the top block, almost three metres off the ground. Head is really putting in the big ones and has forged a lead on DeLosa through that second board. DeLosa is up on his second board too now, but he'll be five or six Six hits off head and we need to power to the finish. Both athletes will be looking to put nice big cut in the front side before they turn and finish off on their weaker side as head is really charging for the finish. He turns for the back side first and he'll be looking to come home strong. A few hits here and he's done. Beating Macker's time by a fraction and claiming valuable points. Brad DeLosa is now on the back side. He'll be hoping to stay competitive. He puts in the final blows and comes home in one minute, five seconds. With a rampaging 47 seconds, Dan Gurr takes bragging rights and the top spot on the leaderboard. Jamie Head claims second place, just over a second ahead of Matt Gurr. Glenn Gillum and Brad DeLosa will have to be content rounding out the top five. With Matt Gurr being beaten by his son Dan in the springboard, can he get him back in the stock store? Still Timber Sports brought to you by Still. Voted number one for quality garden power tools. Better still. 11 Workwear, official clothing partner of the Still Timber Sports Australian Series. And Still Timber Sports, a proud major partner of the Movember Foundation, Stop Men Dying Young. We are on Queensland's beautiful Gold Coast for the opening round of the Steel Timber Sports Australian Championships. And with Dan Gurr taking the top gong in the springboard, can he back it up in the next event, the Stock Saw? The Steel Stock Saw is the first of our soaring events. Placing both hands on the trunk of the 40 centimetre block, athletes must reach for their chainsaws on the sound of the gun and cut two perfect cookies within the allocated 10 centimetres of wood or face the dreaded DQ. Lining up for our first heat, Blake Meyer takes on fellow Victorian Jared Williams. Three, two, one, go! Great reaction by Williams, getting sort of wood just ahead of Meyer. They'll be looking to cut a clean first cookie off the log when they hit the bottom. And it's Meyer who has come back to hit the transition point just that split second ahead of Williams. It's Meyer with the lightning fast finish to take the win in 14.63. Macker is up next, looking to solidify his strong finish in the springboard up against Glenn Gillum. Three, two, one, go! 
Wow, the Victorian Gillum has jumped to the start. This could be detrimental to his campaign and will surely be disqualified. Macca hits the bottom in his pet event and will look to rein in his Sundan with a fast run here today. And he's done in 14.36. Glenn Gillum scores a DQ. If we look at Gillum's start, he was well off the mark in the stock saw today. For Jamie Head, the stock saw is all important this year. Yeah, last year in the qualifier, I got a, off to a good start and got a DQ in the uh, stock saw. And it's a false start from Head. Wow, that is really going to cost him. I don't know what happened there. So that's something I'm going to really have to work on this year. I've really got to knuckle down and make sure I get two discs on the ground for a uh, good, consistent start. He will be up against Brad DeLosa in this stock saw heat. Can he make amends this time round? Three, two, one, go! Super fast start by both athletes as they get sort of wood with lightning speed. Jamie Head has been the stock sawyer in the winning Chopperoos team. DeLosa is no slouch though, holding the Australian record in the discipline. They're racing to the top now, and who is going to take the advantage? It's Head who comes back to take the win by less than half a second to DeLosa. At the end of the stock saw, Matt Gurr takes the eight points while Blake Meyer and Chris Owen take second and third. This now raises Matt Gurr to the top position ahead of his son, Dan, who drops down to second. Jamie Head is also on the move, rising to third after his stock saw result as they head into the next event, the standing block. The standing block is the second axe event of the day where athletes slay at least 50% of the front side before traversing and turning to remove the back half, finalising their hit patterns with ripping overhand drives. Last season, a heavy hitting Victorian Glen Gillum showed what he was made of with some solid results. Gillum with the win at a respectable time of 17.92. This year, preparation might have gone to a gym, done a few little things, but at the end of the day, what I do best is just being me. Just a boy from the bush, pick an axe up in hand and give it my best. He's up against the man on top of the leaderboard, Matt Gurr. Let's see if he can make the impact he's after. Three, two, one, go! Eight to 10 hits in the front and eight or fewer in the back is what's needed for a fast time. The power from Gillum is explosive as he rips at that block. Gillum turns first, well ahead of Gurr, and will be almost four hits ahead of him at the turn. Can he bring it home? Wow, what a time. 18.01 seconds. That should hold him in good stead to claim the top points on offer. Yeah, stoked. Uh, the time's not as hot as the sun, but we'll get better. For two-time Australian champ Brad DeLosa, Jamie Head has had the better of him in the last two events. But DeLosa, who sits down the bottom of the leaderboard, knows what he has to do. Look, I'm quite confident that I can go well. You know, if I do everything right, so you can't afford a mistake in this sort of competition. So that'll be the biggest thing, just a consistent day with no mistakes. DeLosa's up against Jamie Head in this standing block heat. Who will come out on top? Three, two, one, go! It's swing for swing in this heat. Head is not one to back away from a challenge. They turn at exactly the same time as these standing block heavyweights are going to take it down to the wire. Head is ripping at that block. Who will take it? Delosa wins by point zero three. Yeah, it's good to get a win in the standing block, you know. The first two events haven't been probably the way I would have liked to have jumped out of the blocks, but, um, yeah, certainly good to get a few points on the board in the standing block. Glenn Gillen takes the eight points in the standing block ahead of DeLosa and Head. Macker finished down the pack, and on the overall leaderboard now, he shares top place with his son Dan and Jamie Head. Leading into the single buck, Brad DeLosa has moved up to now round out the top four. Still Timber Sports brought to you by Still, voted number one for quality garden power tools, better still. 11 Workwear, official clothing partner of the Still Timber Sports Australian Series. And Still Timber Sports, a proud major partner of the Movember Foundation, Stop Men Dying Young. The best Still Timber Sports athletes have descended on Queensland's Gold Coast. And at the halfway point in the first of our qualifiers, there is a three-way tie for the top position as they head into the next event, the single buck. 
With its peg and raker system, the athlete pushes and pulls their single buck saw through a 46 centimetre pine log. Their wedger oils the saw and drives a wedge between the cookie and trunk to help avoid friction hang-ups. In the first heat, Queenslander Jamie Head will take on Victorian Jared Williams. Three, two, one, go! Straight off the bat, Jamie Head has a hang-up which will set this experienced single buck Sawyer back from the get-go. He knows what he needs to do to retain that top spot on the leaderboard. He runs his two-metre cross-cut saw nice and flat across the log, gaining maximum impact. Head is really putting in the effort. Head has another jag. But finally, releases the cookie in a time that could have been much better. Williams less than a second off the pace. In the next heat, top placing Tasmanian Matt Gurr took on Chris Owen and Matt Gurr was the one to take victory in 23.12 seconds. While his son Dan also claimed the win over Blake Meyer but falling just a fraction short of his dad's time with 23.31 seconds. In the final heat, Brad DeLosa is the one to watch. His experience with the single buck is second to none. This is where it really hurts, but DeLosa is pushing through. A few more strokes, and DeLosa is through in 16.89. DeLosa will need to bring his A game today as he takes on Glenn Gillum in this Battle of the Titans. Three, two, one. Starting off behind the block, you can see the two different styles, but both equally effective. Delosa is a master with the single buck and will be looking to gain those valuable eight points. But Gillum has the momentum going and won't let Delosa get away. Gillum loses his grip and Delosa capitalizes. Coming home in 16.81 and he is happy with that effort. Slowly come back up through the ranks, you know, it's a pretty ordinary start, so pretty important to get a few points in the nice two events, and uh, I've done that, so yeah, pretty happy so far. With that run, Delosa takes home the eight points, Gillum seven, and Head sliding in with six ahead of Williams. On the overall leaderboard, Head now leads the pack as Delosa has moved up to second place. Matt Gurr retains third, while Glenn Gillum and Dan Gurr are tied for the fourth qualification spot in equal fourth place as they head into the next event, the underhand chop. The underhand chop resembles the old school technique of cutting felled trees down to size. After removing approximately 50% of the front side, they pirouette to the back, devastating their block with power and precision, eventually driving the wood in two. As he has gained momentum through the round, Brad DeLosa will need to put up a point scoring cut in this heat against Victorian Jared Williams. Three, two, one, go! Williams will be taking it right to the wire here against DeLosa. He beat him last year in the underhand chop and he knows that he has what it takes to do it again. Williams is putting in the power and he is the first to turn to the backside. DeLosa will need to dig deep here and show that world champion form. Williams has wood flying everywhere and it's going to be close. Can DeLosa come back? Yes, he can, and he does. Taking home the win in 22.60. Jared Williams with an incredible effort to take it to the champ. Everything's looking pretty good, you know. I'll have to finish with a strong hot saw just to secure it, but the last few events have gone really well, so I'm pretty happy with that. In the next heat, Jamie Head takes on the heavy-hitting Victorian, Glenn Gillum. Three, two, one. This should be a close matchup. The power of Gillum versus the perfect technique of Head. Very, very fast swings from both athletes, really ripping those blocks to shreds. They look set to put in fast times as Gillum is the first to turn to the backside. Head is in hot pursuit, really putting the work in. Who's going to be the first one to get the win in this underhand heat? And it's Head by a whisker to Gillum. Wow, that was close. Jamie Head takes the eight points in the underhand ahead of Gillum, DeLosa and Williams. This now solidifies him at the top of the leaderboard in our first qualifier with DeLosa and Gillum rounding out the top three. The battle for the fourth qualifying spot rages as both Dan and Matt Gurr fight it out. With the hot score up next, who will lock in that fourth qualification spot? Father or son? Matt Gurr or Dan Gurr? Still Timber Sports brought to you by Still, voted number one for quality garden power tools, better still. 11 Workwear, official clothing partner of the Still Timber Sports Australian Series. 
And Steel Timber Sports, a proud major partner of the Movember Foundation, Stop Men Dying Young. In a day that has packed punches, the competition is alight with Australia's best steel timber sports athletes taking up the challenge here on the Gold Coast. With the Pool A leaderboard tight at the top, who will solidify their spot in the top four as we head into the final event, the Hot Sword? Athletes must cut three complete cookies in just 15 centimetres of the 46 centimetre diameter block. Jump the gun, cut over the line, or incomplete cookie will result in a DQ and end any chances of being crowned the champion. In this first heat, Matt Gurr will be aiming for a flawless run against Blake Meyer to earn that fourth qualification spot ahead of his son, Dan. Three, two, one, go! Wow, what a run from Matt Gurr with a super fast 6.82 seconds. Blake Meyer nurses his cut home, but it's Matt Gurr who will be happy with his cut. Um, I'm happy, but I've got mixed feelings. If Dan can put up a good cut, he might make it through too. Dan probably deserves to be in there too, but, you know, that's the way it goes. The pressure is on Dan Gurr in this next heat up against current third position holder, Glenn Gillum. Three, two, one, go! Ah, uh, no, Gillum has an issue with his hot saw. Dan Gurr powers on and he will be gunning for his dad's time. Wow, just short. Glenn Gillum is still trying to get his hot sauce set. A clean cut, but he won't be happy with that 24 second time. With Brad DeLosa and Jamie Head looking set to qualify for the finals, who will take out the final heat of the hot sauce for Pool A? Three, two, one, go! Jamie Head bogs on his second cookie. Brad DeLosa bags himself a safe 7.92 time, but what is the trouble for Head? He'll need to get the rip core wound around and restart his saw. Will he get it torn off in time? He gives the saw a few revs. And he's done. Head avoids a disqualification and comes home in 25.05. With a lightning fast time, Matt Gurr takes the top spot and the coveted eight points. Dan Gurr places second with DeLosa in third. On the overall leaderboard, Jamie Head retains the top spot. Brad DeLosa in second and Glenn Gillum in third. But after that hot saw run, Matt Gurr has edged out his son Dan by one point to be the final qualifier for the finals from Pool A. As we hit the halfway point in the qualification series, Pool B is set to light the competition on fire. With eight competitors vying for only four spots, the pressure will be on. Who will join Head, DeLosa, Gillen, and Gurr in the final and take home the coveted Steel Timber Sports Australian title? Tune in next week for some more Steel Timber Sports action. Steel Timber Sports brought to you by Steel. For a better way to buy garden power tools, visit your local Steel specialist. Find yours online, better still. And 11 workwear designed to give you more. More comfort, more style, more function and more value. Official clothing partner of the Chopperoos and the Steel Timber Sports Australian Series. And Steel Timber Sports, a proud major partner of the Movember Foundation, Stop Men Dying Young.